everybody, it's Butterfly AG Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing an opening and review of Julie's Patrick outfit. And it retails for $32, and it comes with a headband, a top, a pair of shorts, a pair of sandals, and a necklace. So, let's get started. So here is the box opened up. And the first item is this super cute shirt. And as you can see, it's obviously patchwork. And it's stretchy on the top and has these straps here. And it's super cute. Also, the front has a ruffle and the other side does not. So there is the shirt, and it is super cute. The next item we have here is this super cute pair of shorts, and they are denim, and super duper cute. They have elastic in the back. So those are the shorts. This is the headband that comes in the set. And it's this really cute floral color. And then you tie it in the back around your doll's head. And it thins out at the sides. So this is the headband. Next are the shoes. So here are the shoes, and they're like crossed, and they are platforms, which means they are higher and thicker than normal shoes. And they're this kind of navy blue color. And of course, it has Velcro on the sides, so you can put it on your doll with ease. And it, I think this is pretty cool. It like crosses over, so I thought that was cool. Those are the shoes. Last but not least, there is the necklace. And this necklace was in Julie's book. If you've ever read her books. <laughs> so here it is, and it is just, it's really cute. It's just beaded with yellow and green beads. is the necklace. So here is Julie's Patrick outfit on the gorgeous Lily. And this outfit is so cute in my opinion. I just love it. It's actually very similar to outfits from the actual time period of Julie. Now it's time for my personal review on each of the individual pieces of this outfit. First is the headband. Honestly, I'm not a very big fan of the headband. Um, it's pretty hard to actually get it on your doll and make it look good, but I think it's actually a pretty nice piece to the set. However, to a younger child, I think this might be pretty difficult to get on because you need to tie it in the back of your doll's head. And I actually folded this, the scarf, in half to make it actually like fit on her head because it's twice this size. So I'm not a very big fan of this. As for the necklace, I think it's a really cute touch to the entire outfit, especially because it was featured in her books and stories. In my opinion, 
this necklace is pretty difficult to get on your doll because it's like a choker so you don't have much room to hook the yarn or thread thing around the, the bead. And I think younger children will have a difficult time getting this on. The shirt. So I think the shirt is very cute. I love how it's all colorful. It's very colorful. And obviously looks like patchwork. And this is very accurate to the time period of Julie. So I really like this piece and it's very easy to get on your doll. As for the shorts, I think they are really cute in this outfit and they could also be used for regular outfits, not just this one. So they are very versatile. As for the shoes, I think they are really, really cute and I love their pattern, like the crosses and they're a really unique addition to my shoe, doll shoe collection top of this video, I'll show you the view from the back. And this outfit is so cute. I totally recommend it. The stitching is great. It's super cute on your doll. And I just love it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!